Hey guys, and welcome back to game four between SKT1 and Samsung Khan. Firebright Hero uh, playing very good right now, has led his team to a 3-0 lead. Uh, could it be the first first winner's league complete 4-0 sweep in 2010? Uh, we'll have to see right now. We do have, it looks like, I didn't even catch the names. I'll see in a second with the pictures. Uh, but this is a TVT played on match point. We do have... Um, Wow, whoops. <laughs> I just stuttered. Uh, we have Firebite Hero spawning in the top right position, and we have Fantasy in the bottom left. And this is a TVT, as I said, on match point. There is actually a ridge you can utilize. So you can really get tanks right on... Uh, on that natural but with tanks on the ridge that is a you know an emphasis of attack for other matchups uh, but it might not play the same in TVT but I am interested to see exactly what uh, Firebat Hero does in this matchup I keep saying it, and he keeps coming up with pretty good build orders but really this is the last hope for SK they've already sent out best They've already used Kanata. They've already used Bisu. Uh, Fantasy really is their last player uh, of, of hope, and it really has to be because there will be no one else playing today uh, besides Fantasy because when Fantasy loses, or if he loses, then Samsung Khan uh, will lose this series, and uh, they'll lose it, or SK will lose the series, excuse me. Uh, but we have Supply Depots going up for both players. It looks like Fireback Hero is walling himself off, and... Uh, and um, Fantasy is not. Uh, but really, what will Fireback Hero do this game? I think Fantasy being the better player, he's looking lurpy and lanky as ever. Um, always awkward to look at. Just, I don't know. Um, just, you know, I mean, I know Korean and South Koreans are generally skinny. But, you know, come on. Put some weight on. Um, but we do have the barracks coming up. It looks like a complete wall in. Uh, really, uh, Fantasy won't be able to get that scout. And we do have gas coming up as well for both players. And um, it's the same white guy who has been to like every event in the last... This guy's just living at this arena. Just watching StarCraft every day. Just living, breathing, and eating it. Um, but really... What will we see here? It's going to be interesting. We do have the SCV coming out for Firebright Hero looking for proxies outside his base. Uh, Firebright Hero is looking for proxies and uh, is winning three times in a row. Not what I was expecting coming into this series. I was like, oh, Samsung Con versus SK. That should be a good one. I wasn't like, oh, Firebat versus SK. Uh, not, was that, not, what I was, not what I was expecting. SCV is crossing each other. And it does look like the SCV is lined up right behind it to do a factory, a hidden factory, uh, so-called outside side of fantasy's base he's gonna be able to put pressure on and uh without fantasy walling in this could be could be a little dangerous uh for fantasy right here this is kind of the game that you wish you would have walled in and he's not gonna be able to get a scout in uh so if that marine gets out he won't be able to get that scout in so another well thought out build here uh from fireback hero and that marine is out he's not gonna be able to get that scout in he has no idea what he's doing he has no um he is, he's not going to think there's a hidden factory here, but indeed there is, and this is going to get very, very interesting. Uh, the factory is going to be completing momentarily, and he's going to be able to go ahead and flood some units, flood some vultures right into the uh, base of Fantasy. So Fantasy better be prepared for this, but he's, he doesn't—he has no idea. He can only think the worst right now. The scouting SCV, maybe if he could possibly scout it. The SCV is going through the mineral line. Fantasy has spotted it. The two factories have been spotted by Fireback Hero, and as I'm saying, well, well thought out. Fantasy, nicely done. Fireback Hero, this is going to be in a tough situation right now as factories are across the map. And now we have the second factory coming down for Fantasy as well to defend against. The scouting STB finally going down for Fireback Hero. Uh, he was probably too worried, uh, you know, pissing himself right now because honestly, he's in a lot of trouble. I don't see this going too well for him. Definitely Fantasy with the advantage right now. Um, we do have the first Vulture out, second factory completing. But now with him following up with the two facts, it's going to be interesting. Marines coming across the map. Armory going up as well. Um, second factory is almost up for Fantasy. Obviously, uh, Fireback Hero will have his a little quicker, but his are across the map. If he cannot hold those, uh, he's going to lift him back all the way back. It's going to be way too long. This is a game that Fireback, Fireback Hero wanted to end very quickly. And now his first Vulture, uh, Fantasy showing the better micro. His first Vulture be both being repaired right now. So now Fireback Hero is in a world of trouble. I was thinking this is a really good build. You know, you have your block off. Fantasy really can't get in. Uh, and you have hidden factories, but obviously uh, Fantasy shows me wrong. Right through the mineral patch he goes, and he's able just to see those expansions. 
Falcons or, or see those factories, I mean, now repairing all those vultures, and he's probably gonna, there's going to be a large vulture battle. So Fire Right Hero is going to have to do a lot of a uh, lot of vulture micro. He hasn't attached a machine shop on either one of those, so he's just going to be pumping pure vultures right now. It looks like uh, Fantasy is going to do the same thing. Coming in here with the coming in here with the vulture, he's going to take a lot of fire though. Fantasy holding pretty well with the help of the Marines. He still has three, and he's going to push Fire Right Hero back, push him back. He's going to do more than push him back. He's going to kill every single unit uh, that that. Uh, Fireback Hero had a couple Goliaths coming out on the field now, and um, but really this is going to be a hard battle for for Fireback Hero to win. The Goliaths picking off one of the Vultures, and uh, those Vultures running back, and all Fantasy really has to do right now at this point is defend momentarily until he can go out and uh, make sure that um, Fireback Hero is not able to utilize the third or util utilize those factories. A couple more Goliaths being pumped right now. Uh, expect Fantasy to change what he is making as well. Uh, four Goliaths out as well um, for. Fantasy, or I mean two for Fantasy, four for Fireback Hero. Couple couple vultures pounding at the front door of Fireback Hero, but that barracks is just going to sit there. The wall in was definitely definitely going to save uh, Fireback Hero right now. A couple more Goliaths coming out. So far, the first micro battle, I'm going to have to give it to Fantasy. Uh, much It was a much nicer uh, by Fantasy, much better micro.